Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag, McMurkin Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. And so uh, today I want to talk about Miss Theresa May, Prime Minister of England, uh, UK, I guess, technically. And so she had this vote like that she was going to get a hold uh, about the deal with, with the European Union and what exactly she's going to do with the European Union when it comes to the, uh, the British exit from it. And she's done negotiation upon negotiation, lasted months and months and years and years and years and years. But she has a deal. And now that every... And then somebody came out with a, with a document from her, from her council saying that basically this is not really the deal. It doesn't really change anything. It basically just removes England's... Uh, standing as a nation state, but it still maintains all of the structural requirements and the regulations associated with being a member of the European Union. And now it looks like it's going to fail in terms of the vote. So they're going to reject the plan. So what she did today was that she got rid of the plan entirely. She said, ah, we're not even going to hold a vote on the plan. It's not going to happen. We're going to go back to Europe. We're going to negotiate some more. And apparently, like, this is like the, the conspiracy theorist in me coming out. So she's got a cup. So so on. Let me make, make sure I get the dates right. So there is in March. Okay, so, so on March 29th, Britain will exit the European Union. It's going to happen. They're going to exit it March 29th. It's going to happen. Deal or no deal, I mean, Britain could be screwed because uh, the European Union is not the friendliest of organizations. And to have a member state just get, just leave and not suffer any repercussions, well, that ain't going to happen because this is the, uh, it's the mark of the beast, the European Union. <clears throat> it's the government of the beast from the Book of Revelations, in my personal opinion. So, uh, March 29th. They're going to exit the Euro, or the European Union. And when they do so, it's going to be with whatever conditions they've agreed to with the European Union. Uh, but, uh, so now, now she's, she's like, you know, has this, has the, this agreement, and then everybody finds out that, oh, the agreement's not really what we're told it's about, because there was some leaked documents. And so now she's got to go back to Europe and, and, uh, to, and renegotiate the whole thing. Now, my suspicion is, okay, Theresa May was actually put into the prime minister position following the, the Brexit vote. Like, she was the one who was sort of tasked with bringing, bringing about the British exit from the EU. And she has been a spectacular failure. Um... My guess is, is that she's, she's pressured on all sides to try to get some kind of deal with the European Union. But my guess is, is that she's actually creating, this is, this is actually her creation, that she may not be like just totally inept, that basically she's creating bad, bad deals, and then when the bad deals, uh, you know, they're about to come up for a vote, oh, well, actually the details of the deal come out, and it's not good, nobody wants to vote for it, it would be suicide politically and so then she has to back up and say well i'm going to go back in for more negotiations etc 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 all of her uh her you know campaign staff that have been like super deep into brexit and were like you know pinnacles of the of the brexit uh the brexit social whatever back in the uh back what's 2016 i mean they've all like quit <laughs> you know it's like like they're totally they're totally pissed off but but my suspicion is is that she actually does not want to deal she doesn't want to make a deal with the European Union because the European Union is never going to give her a deal that would be suitable to England or the UK and uh, suitable towards the European Union the European Union only operates on one on one platform what is good for the European Union <clears throat> losing England would be terrible. So the European Union is trying to screw England to basically convince them to stay in. Now they're trying to, they're, they're having new, like, or they're, they're trying to push for new, new, uh, referendums about, like, you know, staying in the European, no, 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 no. No, I think that Theresa May is actually pretty smart. When I saw, when I saw the, 
press conference with Theresa May and Donald Trump together uh, in Checkers in England. I saw that and I was like, you know, Donald Trump is very convincing when he says that he and Theresa May had great things, etc., etc. That they were, they were, you know, like best of bros, basically. And it seemed like he was genuine. And then I see Theresa May in the news nowadays just, just messing it up. One thing after another. It's a mess up. It's a mess up. We got to push it off. We got to push it off. March 29th is coming. Uh, we're going to have to leave the European Union with no deal. And my suspicion is that she actually wants a deal, but, you know, like, she's going to basically create terrible deals. And just to placate her European Union bosses, create terrible deals, and then leak information about those deals. Leak it to the press. And then all of a sudden everybody knows the shittiness that's in these deals. And then the deal gets pulled, and we'll go back to Europe, and we'll, we'll renegotiate, and uh, now it's March, and, and uh, so basically, uh, on January 21st, she has to reappear before Congress, or re re reappear before the Parliament. Um, it's a deadline for her to say when, uh, what what's going on if there's no deal. So basically, the, so the worst case is no vote until January 21st, says, according to Society's General essay strategist Kenneth Brew. Adding that the longer it takes, the lower the pound is likely to fall. Now, I would agree that the, the pound will continue to fall as long as there is no deal. Because the pound's strength is based on the, on the old system. As long as there is no deal, uh, the old system is bad. And so, uh, or they're, they're doing bad. So, of course, the pound is going to fall. I mean, they, they operate on the same fiat system that we do. But... Uh, you know, yeah, the pound's going to fall, but ultimately, I think that when England gets out of gets out of uh, the European Union, it's going to be a good thing because uh, they're going to be free economically. They're going to be able to make their own deals, and yeah, they might be screwed out of a uh, screwed out of the European Union. But I got to tell you, they'll have a great trading partnership with Donald Trump's America. This has been Meatbag McBurk, a Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Like, share, subscribe, give me all your money. Because when I am governor, I will have all your money. Thank you.